usual. I'm leaving out of the house late, but again, it takes me about 15, 20 minutes to get to work from here. And honestly, I try not to speed, but I'm usually speeding. So I'll make it, I'll be fine. Hey guys, so it's after class now and it is hot. I am sticky, I am gross, and I'm trying not to touch my face, but it feels and looks super oily, but I'm not gonna touch it because this is why I break out. I'm about to be on my way home so I can pick up the kids, get us ready because we're going to go to the park. I feel like it's been so many weeks since I've really taken them somewhere and done something with them and I keep telling them that we're gonna go to the park we're gonna do this we're gonna do that I've been so busy with this course this course is really demanding so I feel like I'm always studying when I get home and I know they've been missing me all day um, I'll just spend just a minimum amount of time with them and I would go in my room and now I'm studying so now it's to the point where I'm trying to come up with a schedule and I've already put it in my mind that I am not going to give more effort to this army or to this course or to anything else than I do my kids that's just not gonna happen so I was really like in my mind thinking and I started feeling really bad today and I'm like I've been telling them for the longest that I'm gonna take them to the park they've been excited to go to the park sometimes I will get home and my sister have them dressed because they're ready to go to the park and I won't take them because I'm too tired or I'm too busy and that's not that's not fair to them at all and I I I'm kicking myself over it because that should not be I don't know I just don't want them I just don't want to be that parent I don't want to be absent I understand that the military is going to take a lot of time from me but there's no excuse as to why I can't get off work and take them to the park for at least 30 minutes why haven't I done that? Because I'm being lazy. That's so stupid. I'm so dumb for that. But look, I, I can make a whole video over being a single parent in the military because it's really not as you know easy and all sunshine and rainbows like me and probably other people make it seem. It's really not. But what I'm about to do is I'm about to go and get them. We're about to go and get some, probably some ice cream or something like that and then go to the park and enjoy ourselves. So. I'll see you guys when we get to the park. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? So, there's been a little bit of change in my plans. Yes, we're still gonna go to the park, but that'll be tomorrow. I decided that this is the perfect weekend for us to go hiking. We've all been talking about wanting to go hiking, and I was talking to a few of my friends about some really good hiking trails that are friend kid friendly family friendly in texas and one of them that i got a few times was the chalk ridge falls park out in belton texas and so that's we're actually in colleen texas right now because it's like 20 minutes from belton but i couldn't find a hotel in belton at the last minute so am i even saying the name of that city right i'm not sure we're probably going to be leaving out really early tomorrow to head out there because i want to make sure i get there like a little bit before I guess the sun is coming up while the sun is coming up because I don't want it to be like scorching hot while we're trying to hike through the woods and stuff like that and I just want it to be comfortable I want it to be fun there's a little area that I keep seeing that people say you can play in the water it's running water so it's you know safe there's not gonna be any like gators or turtles and stuff in there to snap your toes off so I thought that that would be pretty neat so we bought our swimsuits um, our sunscreen our towels extra clothes and stuff like that so I'm hoping this is going to be a really fun time it's dark right now I was kind of bummed because I tried to leave out a little bit earlier but we got out of class later than I expected but again it's fine you know I almost didn't want to do it again I was super tired I'm super tired right now but I'm kind of excited so yeah I'm rambling at this point but yeah I'll see you guys whenever I come back on here <laughs> Ooh. 
guys sit down. So we woke up this morning. Say like, good morning. Morning. Good morning. I look dry. But look how Amia woke up this morning. Look at her eye. What happened, boo boo? I put on a house. Did you get bit by something? Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Close your eye. I don't know. I mean, it already looks like it's probably getting smaller. Come here. Close your eye again. Close your eye. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Like, there's no bite marks. You don't have a sty, so we're not sure, but she seems fine. So she'll, she'll live. Looking a little dry myself, and my hair seriously needs to be washed because y'all know I wash my hair on Fridays after a long week at work. But because this was a last minute decision, and I literally made this decision to come out here and go hiking as we were ending the class so it was really last minute so i didn't have time to wash my hair and i didn't even have time to wash mia's hair we just i just went home packed we got you know showered and stuff like that and um yeah headed out so right now we are we're getting ready to go um of course we're still in the hotel room we just woke up we're trying to rush so we can go ahead and head out to belton texas so we can go get some breakfast and we're going to water water street waffle co so it's a breakfast place they serve breakfast and lunch and i heard it was really good it's one of the places that i told that i have to go to when i go out there so that's where we're going to go and eat breakfast um we are going to try to go dang it i need to know the temperature but um i'm trying to hurry up and get out there so we can go ahead and eat breakfast and head out to the trail not yet boo boo so we can head out to the trail because I don't want to get out there too late in the day when it's like scorching hot and stuff like that. So, yes, we're about to go ahead and get ready. Darion should be in the bathroom brushing his teeth. But we're about to go and get ready so we can, um, yeah, get out there for some breakfast. So I'll see you guys when we get to breakfast. You want to say hi? Oh Couldn't wait. I'm gonna put some of say hi. 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 So we finally made it out to Chalk Ridge Falls Park, and it's hot. We didn't expect to be out here this late, but we out here this late, but it's fine. We're gonna push on and we're still gonna go. I'm hoping that the little lake over there throws off some breezes so it won't be as hot as it, as it is right now. So that's what we're hoping for. We ate earlier and let me tell y'all, I cannot believe 
how good that food at that restaurant was so if you are going to be around the Colleen area the Belton Texas area make sure you go to Water Street Waffle Co because I'm telling you like we were crying <laughs> <laughs> we were crying it was so good i can't believe it but yeah we're about to go over here um try to not die of a heat stroke because again it's really hot we forgot water at first so we had to drive all the way back find a gas station get some bottled waters and some ice and stuff like that and then come back out here so yeah we're out here way later than we expected to be but it's fine it's fine Mia, how are you feeling? I feel good. You feeling good? Yeah. Is it hot? Yeah. Yeah. Is it really hot or just a little hot? Yeah. <laughs> How's Darion feeling? Yeah. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Is it hot? Over here. I had everything in a little beach bag at first and I'm like I do not want to one shoulder carry a bag with all that stuff in it so I ended up emptying out my backpack and I just threw this on and I don't have on anything special just this um, sports bra with some matching leggings so I'm kind of irritated because I definitely forgot my swimsuit in the car but I don't really think I'm going to need it anyway. I'm just going to let the kids enjoy the water and I'm going to do my own thing, okay? You hot? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Mia's tired, I'm tired. This is my workout. This For the workout. Girl, <laughs> you ain't doing a workout. And we made it. like an hour or so yeah we it took us probably 10 minutes to hike out here if even that and um we've been out here for a little over an hour probably and it's not that bad we finally found a shady area but other than that these rocks hurt my feet though like i should have bought some water shoes because these rocks and this little lake thing is brutal mia can you stop throwing rocks please Okay, hey, look, look. Throw it that way, okay? You no, know, no, that way. Mia is wanting to throw rocks, which is cute. She's wanting to skip rocks. Let's see. Look, boo boo. Let me tell her where to throw these rocks. Ouch, 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 ouch. Some of the rocks. Look, boo. Look, throw it this way. Throw it that way, okay? Yeah, so you don't hurt anybody.
you gotta skip it. You, gotta, you need a good, you need a good flat skipping rock like that. Let me see. That's not, <laughs> that's not a rock, boo. Let me see. Where'd it go? Let me see. She, she had this acorn. She, what is this? A shell? She said like this one. Good job. So I'm sitting down in embarrassment because I ripped my leggings. So I was up at the top of the falls with Mia because she wanted to go up there and we we're just, you know, messing around with Angel at the bottom. And I decided to get down because Mia wanted to go and play back in what she calls the pool, but it's just the little lake part. And um, I slid and all I felt was some scratching against my booty cheek. And when I went to raise up, the water was splashing directly on my butt. And it's just, it's a gigantic rip in my leggings right now. Wardrobe malfunction. Got to think quick on my feet. You know, this is, this is what it is now. I suck. You cheated. <laughs> sand all in my shoes let me take these off first all right let's go oh oh ho oh, beach vibes yeah you found some sand Mommy. be careful sand still baby come closer and do it don't throw it What? <laughs> Ew, what is it? Oh, a sticker bug thing? <laughs> Over here this is the field that we form up on when we are doing PT. And this is actually fake grass. It's not real grass. So it's one, way softer than whatever this is over here. And two, it ain't that many bugs on it. So you ain't gonna get ate up by ants. And these are the tires I was telling you. get some soccer balls or something like that some volleyballs and come out here yeah it's hot right now it's like 105 degrees right now this is san antonio texas y'all so it's about 105 degrees but honestly for the times we will be coming out here that's not going to be a problem at all because the sun won't be that high in the sky and it's just gonna be a nice little breeze but you know
swimming. Yeah, Mom. Ooh, what's that? It's a duck. It's a duck? Duck. Let duck. me see it. Where's your froggy? I don't know. I got another duck. Mm-hmm. Froggy, froggy, froggy. I already got in the shower. I actually just got out. I had to get in. I had to wash my hair. I had to wash my body. I thought I was going to have time to wash my hair early this morning, but we were running out of time. We were rushing, so I didn't have time to do that. And I was just so dirty from rolling around in lake water and the little stream, running through the woods, playing around at the park. So I definitely needed a shower. It felt so good. And now I'm about to go ahead and do the same thing for Mia. I have to go ahead and get her in the shower, wash her hair, moisturize it, stuff like that. Because as a few of you know, I did cut off all Mia's hair. Um, it's not something that I've talked about on YouTube just yet. And I have my reasons why. But um, yeah, yeah, um, I cut all her hair off and I've just been in a process of doing what I need to do to grow it back and make sure it's growing back healthy this time because her hair before it was just really damaged, really bru bru really brittle and it was just breaking off and I just didn't know what to do with it. It got to the point where her hair was just gone, like it was just gone. There was no point of having it there if it was going to be that bad. So yeah, I went ahead and cut it and I'm about to go ahead and get her in a bath and um do her little hair care routine i guess if you want to call it that so the first thing i do with amia when i put her in the tub is i let her splash around and play and swim a little bit before i actually give her her bath and for those of you asking about my son and why i don't seem as hands-on with him as i am with amia guys keep in mind my son is nine years old he's about to be 10 in a few months so a lot of the stuff that i still need to do for amia a two-year-old going on three i don't have to do that with darion anymore he can brush his teeth he can give himself a bath i check behind him so he's fine he's actually in the other bathroom with his colored tablets his goggles giving himself a bath so trust me guys he's fine both of my kids are well loved well taken care of and sometimes i even let sam join in on the bath time festivities so currently for amia i am using the shampoo and conditioner from the easy mix brand I was super excited when they sent this to me because as I mentioned earlier, I cut off all Mia's hair. Yes, I gave my toddler a big chop. So I've been experimenting with different products to see what works for her hair. And because of this, one of my favorite things about this brand is their products are customizable so they are perfectly unique to what your hair needs. So you head over to the website and you choose your category. For me, it was hair. You then choose the product that you are interested in and then you choose your hair type. And when you hit next, this is where it gets exciting because you get to pick up to five natural ingredients to put into your product. So for example, in my shampoo, I added dandelion abstract, blackcurrant abstract, achelia abstract, spinach abstract, and pumpkin abstract. I chose these ingredients because it locks in moisture, it nourishes the hair, and it promotes that thickness and growth, and that's really important to me. It helps with scalp irritation and just providing those overall nutrients that your hair needs to flourish and grow. And after that, you get to choose your scent, and I chose honey and milk, and it smells so good. And next, you get to nickname your bottle, and I just chose Andrea Siobhan, of course. And after you are done with that, you're going to throw that bad boy in your cart and go ahead and check out, but not without using my coupon code Andrea Siobhan to get 15% off your entire order. So the first thing I do is I wet Mia's hair down, and I usually do that with a towel. That way I can control the flow of the water because Mia hates when water flows on her face so this helps just a little bit before i go in with the shampoo And 
now that we are all done washing her hair and everything is rinsed out, it's time to go in with the conditioner. And Mia says this is her favorite part because it smells like candy. And this is also my favorite part because this means we're almost done. And I just like to take that conditioner and lather it all over her head. And although her hair isn't that long yet, I still like to detangle just a little bit. It's amazing how much her hair has already grown since it's been cut. Next, I get a towel that's been heated in the microwave and I cool it down with my hands. That way it's not too hot when I place it on her head. And I like to smooth that around on her head with all of the conditioner because it's just opening up those hair follicles, letting that conditioner get down in there, moisturizing her hair. And I'm also wiping out the conditioner at the same time. After I'm done with this, I take just a little bit more conditioner and I smooth that on her head and I let that sit there and it stays in as leave even conditioner and this is the finished product super shiny super clean super healthy looking i love this stuff making the decision to cut off my daughter's hair was not an easy choice at all because i knew she liked having her hair done in her barrettes and even after she had her hair cut off periodically she would ask can i have my hair back no mommy and that was really hard to take and the backlash from cutting her hair wasn't easy either and honestly i don't regret it because one she is a beautiful little girl and it's crazy she gets approached more about how cute she is and how outgoing she is now that her hair is cut versus when she had her hair at least now she knows that hair does not define her it's just hair it'll grow back and she can find the confidence in everything that's beautiful about her and not just something as trivial as her hair and I'm done listening to people say things like, you need to do that child hair or that child hair too nappy or the feeling of just because I have a daughter, I need to know how to do hair and I need to keep her hair done and all of the other pressures you feel or the things you hear when you're the mother of a 4C princess. I feel that's where I went wrong with her hair is constantly trying to keep it done and constantly trying to make it look cute. I was just doing way too much to it, even though I didn't know what I was doing. I'm learning now and I know this is something small, but it's the small things that matter to kids and I want to make sure because it matters to them, it matters to me. I'm just trying to be a good mom. <laughs>